This movie is all about a bear. Not just any bear, but a bear that has taken a lot of cocaine. So much cocaine, in fact, that it sets aside its usual restraint and becomes the deadliest of threats to anyone in the vicinity. With a premise like this, it's easy to see that this movie has potential to become a hit. As audience, you expect to have fun, to watch plenty hilarious moments in 95 minutes of low-cam entertainment. Unfortunately, this movie is rather disappointing. For a movie about a bear high on cocaine, this movie just is not anywhere near as fun as it should be. The movie fails big time to mind the ludicrous nature of the scenario for black comedy. It never finds its own voice or a way to integrate the ultra-violence of the killing bear with a dark comedy. This horror comedy is cringe and it's never quite sure what it wants to be. It even tries its hand at satire, but feels really ham-fisted. The movie cannot find a consistent or steady tone for the material. Every single scene that doesn't involve the cocaine bear eating people is completely forgettable. The movie is clearly aware that its premise and its title is what will bring curious and surrendering audiences in. However, it doesn't quite balance the tone of giving us time to rest from the bear attacks with hilarity. The dialogue is not that snappy, and the running gags are not that funny. There are far too many characters here, and the script cannot possibly flesh them all out effectively. Most of them are merely here to add to the rising body count. There are some gruesome kills that up the gore factor. However, with no connection to those who are being mauled and no reason to care, they're nothing more than cheap gags. The jump scares are repetitive and predictable, while the eventual climax feels a little too on the nose and tonally out of place. Overall, it's not really worth to watch this in theaters. Just wait on your streaming service.